Hi, welcome to Active Bright Systems. I'm Scott Bryant. Are you confused about food and diets? Okay, there's been a gazillion books written about diets and there's hundreds of different types of foods. So if you go into Sainsbury's, you can see that we have bananas, <coughs> we have kiwi fruits, we have coconuts. So all these types of fruits are not grown in the UK, they're imported from abroad. Then if you look at our diets now, you know, we're eating Indian food, we're eating Chinese food. We're really not eating much English food anymore. We're going away from uh, what we're designed to eat as, as a person that may be English or British. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, you know, if you go to the fish and chippy, that's actually Jewish. That's not British neither. So a lot of people think, oh, I'll go to England on holiday and I'm going to have fish and chips because it's British. It's not. It's Jewish as Jamie Oliver said in his program that I learned, uh, which was quite interesting. Uh, so let's get back on to uh, food. So everybody has a different reaction to food inside their system. So <laughs> if you've been eating the same type of food, like you have the same breakfast, you have the same dinner, you have the same lunch, then you're bound to have food allergies. And the food allergies may come up in you coughing, it may come up in... A fermentation, it may come up with a white tongue, it may be that you may have spots on your face, which is causing the allergic reaction from the different types of food that you keep eating. Remember that we need to graze when it comes to our food and diet, in which you need to rotate it and you need to change it around. So you shouldn't eat the same genus of food uh, for four days. So if you eat steak on a Monday, you shouldn't eat it again till Friday. Because we were nomadic people and we were designed to, to graze as we went from land to land. And now we live in the same area at the same place and eat in the same place all the time and eat at the same time all the time. So if we was a caveman and being uh, chased by a, a lion or a tiger, you wouldn't be eating at the same time, same day. Uh, but what they found for health-wise... The more that you eat at the same time, at the same on the same day, but rotate the foods, the more healthier the body becomes. Okay. When it comes to diet, all I will say about diet is stay away from the uh, from the four white devils, which is sugar, pasteurization of milk and cheese, which is a white devil, flour, okay, and uh, white table salt. And rice, you know, but brown rice is much better than white rice, obviously. So it's up to you to make that choice. Remember, there's a gazillion books written about diet. And, you know, you can keep reading diet book after diet book after diet book and start getting really, really confused. But what I found with metabolic typing, metabolic types out, typing sorts out how your body fits in with what you're supposed to be eating. So... I'm generically a protein type, but I'm eating like a vegetarian at the moment because I feel that's what I need to do. And uh, Paul Check, the guy that I've studied with in California, uh, advised me to eat like a vegetarian. So what I've been doing is eating like a vegetarian and sometimes eating meat if I fancy it, but not going hell for leather just for meat like I was before. And I've noticed that my body's looking much leaner, uh, energy levels have changed, my skin has changed, so things seem to be functioning much better eating like a vegetarian. But from the flip side of that is that I had a I had a client that was a vegetarian for 12 years and we found out he had allergic myalgia and we found out uh, that being a vegetarian wasn't good for him because he wanted to try and gain muscle mass and you can't gain muscle mass if you're uh, depleted in vitamin B12, and we found out it was really depleted in that as well. Uh, so really, look at look at dieting from a point of view of what is your goal. If you want to get you know leaner and more ripped and more cut for the summer, then stay away from the free white devils, and it will <laughs> really help you. It really makes a huge difference. Uh, I was reading a Rudolf Steiner book on diet on nu nutrition. And he was saying that if you eat potatoes, potatoes can, can block your third eye energy. So if you're an artist or you're a photographer or you're somebody that uh, has to think outside the box in which to get your intuition 
in which to do your job, then I would highly recommend staying off potatoes. And Doug Kaufman, another guy that's written some great books about diet, uh, speaks about potatoes causing fungus inside the gut. And anything that grows below the ground can cause uh, fungus and mitotoxins inside the gut, which, which can affect your skin, which can affect your energy levels, which can affect so many areas of your, of your life. Uh, I found with people with arthritis, when they stay off a grain, grain, so potato is a grain, rice is a grain, pasta is a grain, when they stay off, excuse me, stay off these types of foods, that one, they drop a lot of weight, two, they, uh, any inflammation or pain that they've got disappears. And that's because, you know, the gut's getting rid of the inflammation the mitotoxins is dying off. But when you do this type of diet, you do get very, very sick to start off with. So don't let it put you off when doing an antifungal diet. If you want to go to Personal Trainer Abs, which is my new website, it is set out exactly how on that website on how to do the, the antifungal diet and how it can help you. Uh, so I've been waffling on enough. I'm Scott Bryan of Personal Trainer Abs. If you could uh, comment at the bottom or subscribe at the top up here, I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you've got any questions, you know, send me some questions. It'd be great. Okay, thanks very much. I'm Scott Bryan of uh, Personal Trainer Abs. Thank you. Bye-bye.